All right, let's get into this corset stash. Oh, we're not just getting into the corset. We're getting into the entire body. We're just opening the the boobage completely. Let's go. I should choose something that would create a bright flash of light to soothe the Tin Man. I guess this. Oh wait, 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 wait. I want to read. Red flashes might knock him out. White flashes are the brightest. Blue flashes should soothe him. Okay, let's do that one. It probably doesn't matter which one you choose. Uh, good thing these come with instructions. Oh. Is this? Yeah. Can't use that part yet. Oh, I see. Whatever this is, that is an explosive capsule. Ow. Oh, that was rough. We rammed the Nautilus, but at least we caught up with them. The impact may have caused some damage to our hull. You'll have to patch it up. Why is that my problem? Well, I guess because nobody else is competent. Uh, as it is, this harpoon isn't powerful enough to use against the Nautilus. Oh, okay, but this explosive thing in my jig. Yes, explosive harpoon. All right. Hello. After you fix the leaks, find a weak spot on their hole and mark it. We'll use their own tricks against them. Ahab's quite cunning, turning the enemy's technology against them. Yeah, this glass feels like a bad idea. Oh, wait. That confiscated tracking device will come in handy now. Okay, why did we put it there? Match all the pairs. Oh. Oh, we're like in the Nautilus, pretty much. How can there be this much left? Oh. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Now to mark the weak spot in the hull. Oh, well that was a great patch job, but we can just remove it from the outside. What? Oh, finish three HOPs without using a hint in 60 seconds. I managed to tag the Nautilus, but then it accelerated. I should consult Ahab. Oh, what is happening now? Aha! A maelstrom! How predictable! We have one final surprise of our slaves. Engage the Emerald Protocol here. Oh, Emerald has to do with Oz, right? The Emerald Protocol, whatever that is, I trust it'll work. Oh. Okay. All right. Where am I going with these green glasses? Oh. Found one ruby boot. Found two ruby boots. Oh.
We need to go everywhere. Oh. We've been in here. We started here. Oh. That's why. Oh. I did that the wrong, I guess. Oh, you need to do- Oh, it's how many times you need to click them. Oh, okay, it's not order, it's how many times you need to click them. Right. I see now. The moon. Oh, hello. Is there a ruby boot in here? Oh no, there are probably only two ruby shoes, right? I wonder what those were. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're just like floating over. Okay. <laughs> now who has the upper hand? I mean, I don't know if that made th this made that big a difference, but sure. Did you think it would be that easy? I mean, honestly, yes. You're not that impressive. <laughs> okay. Thanks. I feel very scared. <laughs> Um, what am I doing? Turning my back to him because why not, I guess. Oh, you know what? Thank you for the screwdriver. I should protect myself. Why not? Can't even see anything, but I mean, that's fine. You might be harpoon proof now, but what about your balloon? What about you? Oh, okay. Patch the balloon. It's got a random click. A head. And a hook. A head of what? Okay, fine. Oh, that's the head. He's patching. I mean, I feel like this part here is kind of worse. Yeah. Um, this does not look safe, but all right. I don't understand how that balloon works to begin with. Now's our chance. We're right above the Nautilus. Use the explosive harpoon to hit the spot you marked with the tracker. Sure. Don't worry. I can lift that for you. I've made a mess of things. And it's time for me to clean up after myself. I mean, I, I like someone who can take responsibility. Let's go. Alright. Ah! The beast is hit! <laughs> It'll no doubt head somewhere deep and dark to lick its wounds. 
That seems like an extremely bad idea if you have, like, a hole in your hull and just be like, ah, yes, let us go further deep down where there's higher pressure and there is, like, also a higher risk of, like, the entire thing, like, imploding. Like, I feel like you should do the opposite? What? But our mission is far from over. And I have a feeling we'll meet again soon enough. Did he have two coats or did he just take it back? I think I have all the collectibles right. I'm gonna pretend I do. Navigation map. We have a map of all recent Nautilus sightings. Alright, Phyllis Fogg is the travel dude, so I presume he can help us with the map. Taking the wind and sea currents into account, we can extrapolate the positions of the mines. That will help us narrow down the Nautilus position. What mines? Did I miss a chapter? What are- what? Press the fields, revealing the map. Search for and mark the mines. Oh, not mines that you dig in, but like mines that explode. Use numbered indicators to deduce locations. Okay. Oh, I suck at this game, but all right. <laughs> Should be that. Well, there needs to be at least one here. Should probably be one there too, but I don't. I don't think this one needs to be. But this one does. Um. This one? Damn. I'm telling you, I'm not good at this. Oh my god, I hate this game. Okay, we have a four there, so it has to be all of these. There's only one left, well, in that case, it has to be there. What? Disgusting. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate this game. Well, that one I can only have it there. So then it can't be there. It has to be there. It cannot be here then. It has to be there. It has to be there because these ones. No. On the contrary, it cannot be here. That two has to have it there. That two would need to be there. And then that three has it, so it can't be here. Finally. Like the premise should be fine, there. I just. No. They went up the Thames. They're not in the open sea anymore. They must have moored in London somewhere. I hope that helps. I mean, it makes sense that they would go somewhere like that to repair, but like. I don't think they're that discreet, right? Like, the entire Nautilus is not- doesn't seem very discreet. Like, how would they manage? Okay, we already have the collectible for here, so that's fine. So, where will your investigation take you? I don't know, dude. McDonald's? 
I don't have much to choose from. Nemo's henchmen had the zoological garden pamphlet for a reason. I should investigate why. I mean, I do want to go there. I'm just... Be careful. A caged animal can be unpredictable. Indeed. Zoological Garden. Zoo opens at 7 o'clock every morning. Here it is, the world famous Zoological Garden, and it is closed. <clears throat> this is a dead thing. Oh, hello. Polly want a cracker? Oh. You should know better than to sneak up on the lion. Why, hello? Waiting for the zoo to open, are you? I'd stay away if I were you. You've seen how we do things. You don't want to be a part of that. See, I get what you're saying, but I'm good. I can help you, okay? That was close. I never respond well to threats except to dig my heels in. <laughs> now, what's inside? Seal tight. If only I could pry it just a little bit with my zoological pamphlet. Maybe not. Take that, thank you. Oh, you know what? Thank you. Now, what time is the zoo supposed to open? At seven? Oh. I don't even know how clocks work anymore. What is going on? Oh, alright. Zoo Square! Watch out! Oh no, I'm afraid to look down. You just couldn't listen. And now, thanks to you, I'm hurt. I can't scale the wall, and Nemo's henchmen are on their way. You'll have to handle them on your own. Just be careful. I set traps all over the zoo. Whatever it is they're after, they can't get it. Smart. Good job. First things first. Find me something long and sharp to keep these beasts at a distance. Then you can try to find a more permanent solution. Like a ladder? Here. I found this earlier, but I couldn't decipher it. It belonged to the zookeeper. Catch. I don't want to see him mauled. I'll see what I can do. Judy's gotten spoiled. She only eats a neatly arranged fruit salad. Chan and his kin are fascinated with shiny things and snail shells. Fred always performs his world-famous stomping trick for enough peanuts, that is. Gordon and his friends run from screeching sounds. That's why they are housed far from the penguins, frogs, and the giant bat. Mona will bite anything. ANYTHING. Watch out. Theo developed a taste for grapes. He won't entertain if he doesn't get some first. Hank appears dangerous but loves to be scratched a certain way. Lena is a feisty one. The only time to get close is when she's sleeping. Donnie loves his carrots, but is quite wary. They must be dangled in front of him. Bella and her family are a curious bunch, but if they spot a leopard, they'll run. Quill and his sisters are happiest when a can of sardines comes their way. Every animal gets a name, it seems. I wonder if they tell the zoo, zoo visitors, too. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure Quill and his sisters are the... Penguin. Belle and her family are a curious bunch. I'm pretty sure that's the Timon and Pumba. Carrots, but are quite wary. But it's quite. They must be dangled in front of him. Then that's a feisty one. The only time to ba ba ba. Hank appears dangerous, but loves to be scratched a certain way. Theo developed the taste for grapes. He won't entertain if he doesn't get them first. Mona will bite anything. 
uh, perform his trick for enough peanuts. Chan and his kin are fascinated with shiny things and snail shells. Judy's gotten spoiled, she'll need some easily arranged fruit salad. Run from screeching things, that's why they are, they are housed far from the penguins, frogs, and the giant bats. Far from the penguins, the frog, wherever that is, and the giant bat. Oh, maybe that's the dolphins. Oh, it's not? Oh, okay, I can just brute force myself through this. Alright. No? Alright. Why can I not do this anymore? What is happening? Cor connect the names on the right with animals on the left using the given clues. I'm trying, but you won't let me do it anymore. Oh, okay. Donnie loves his carrots. Lena's a feisty one. Hank appears dangerous, but has to be scratched. Theo. Theo. Judy is the giant bat. Okay, I'm just fascinated by shiny things. Gordon and his friends run from screeching sounds. <sighs> oh, Mona will bite anything. That's Tio and Gordon. Okay. So now I know the animal's preferences. That is handy. I don't know why that took so long. Keeping track of all those animal names is overwhelming. That's why my three favorite parrots are all called Polly and they love their crackers. I need to lure all three of the parrots. I suspect that's important. Bat tower, three shillings. Oh, the penguin is one and the reptile is two. Okay, cool. Well, uh, collectible and we well with that we're gonna explore the zoo in the next episode so thank you all very much for watching and i'll see ya